A conversation that I feel like is ongoing a lot in like my corner of the internet as well as just like fashion in general is the sort of like intersection between sustainability, affordability, size inclusivity, etc. And I try to cover like all of that on this channel, the best I can anyway, which can be difficult because not a lot of times do all three of those things intersect. Um, so I try to cover a lot of like accessible, affordable, size inclusive fashion on this channel. I do a lot of thrifting. That's like one of my favorite things to do in the entire world. And lately I've been trying to also showcase some sustainable brands for those of you who are looking to invest in like higher quality pieces that last a lot longer in your wardrobe that you can keep for years and years and years to come. Or if you're just more interested in sustainability and you kind of want to focus a little bit more on brands that prioritize that. I know there's like a whole other conversation to be had about affordability and sustainability. I'm with you 100% and also size inclusivity with sustainable brands. I think that there's like a lot of improvements to be made. That's why my favorite way to shop is secondhand, but I have taken interest and just noticed recently some really beautiful pieces from brands that kind of lean more on the sustainable side. And so I decided to order some of them. <laughs> It was not cheap, I paid my own money for all of this, trust me. And then kind of test it out in case you were interested, in case you were kind of like maybe thinking about ordering one of these pieces or from one of these brands and you wanted my opinion. Don't obliterate me in the comments. Um, I'm trying to appease to the wants and needs of everyone. So if this isn't something that's your cup of tea and you wanna focus more on like the affordable fashion or the thrifting or whatever that may be, totally fine. There will be many videos covering those things to come. But if you're interested in this, I did pick up, you know, a few new pieces that we're gonna test out together that I'm very excited about for summer. We have quite a bit to cover. I have a lot of these to try on, so let's jump in. First up we have maybe, I mean, truly, like I know I say this a lot, but this may be the cutest dress I've ever seen in my entire life, like truly. And it's from a brand called Christy Dawn. Um, I've seen a lot about Christy Dawn for honestly years. There are a few people that I follow who have featured their beautiful dresses for so long, but they're at a really high price point. And that's something that obviously you're gonna see throughout this video. A lot of times with sustainable brands, you're paying for more sustainable materials. You're paying for the workers to be able to make a, a living wage, have good working conditions, you know, all of these things. Um, so I totally recognize it and I get it, but it can just be a tough pill to swallow, let's be honest. And I know for a lot of people, we struggle with that as well. But this dress is so beautiful. It's called the Kiara dress and I'm just gonna show it to you. I'm not gonna hold you in suspense any longer, but here is what it looks like. It keeps going. It keeps going. It is so absolutely precious. This is like the perfect combination of something that I absolutely would have worn as a child and something that I want to wear as a 35 year old. If my personality were to be in a dress, it would be this. It has strawberries all over it. It is the most gorgeous like cottagecore fairy dream. And I am absolutely obsessed. It almost kind of looks like an apron but in the best way possible, like an old vintage apron. So based off of the reviews, which is so insanely helpful, by the way, I feel like I trust the reviews more than I trust size charts these days. <laughs> because size charts can say one thing and then when it comes down to it and you try it on, it's like completely different. But the reviews are like size up, size down, do this, do that. So all of, pretty much all of the reviews said for this dress, the Kiara dress to size down. So it did size down to a large in it. So we're gonna see how that fits. Something that also adds points to this brand in my mind is the fact that it comes in standard standard sizes, like I think extra small to extra large, but also the majority of their dresses are offered in extended sizes as well. So 1X through 3X. I cannot wait any longer. We have to put this on. So let's see what it looks like. I love it already. Are we actually joking right now? This is, yeah, I mean, a hundred percent. This is my dream dress. There is not a single thing that I would change about this. I... I'm obsessed. This is absolutely so dreamy. It's so flowy. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The material's really soft. It is kind of like a linen-y material, but it feels very soft to me. Um, a lot of times, like, linen can feel a little bit scratchy. I don't feel that way about this at all. There is, like, a chance that maybe in some lighting this could be slightly see-through, but I do have bike shorts on underneath this just to kind of keep everything covered. And I would do that anyway just for chafing purposes, but wow. I decided to pair it with these brown boots that Alexa thrifted for me a couple months ago, and I just think this is so beautiful. I absolutely need 
something to wear this to immediately because it is so precious. I don't know if you can see up at the front, but there's like a little bit of stitching in the front that's kind of like a crisscross pattern and it just makes it extra cute. Like that little special touch, you know, there are pockets, which I find just the most magnificent thing I've ever seen. So someone please plan like a picnic or a beach hangout or something like that where I can wear this. I would say if you're interested in this and it's within your size range to size down, wow, absolutely 10 out of 10. There's nothing I would change about this except maybe the price, but it's phenomenal. The next piece I got is from Reformation and I have like a love-hate relationship with Reformation because I feel like they are arguably one of the most popular sustainable leaning brands and they're size inclusive, which is great. They have an extended sizing line, which is always a good thing. I'm never gonna complain about that. However, if I am gonna complain about it, I've talked about this before. I've made TikToks about it. Like I just don't understand why brands make extended size clothing lines and they aren't the same pieces as the straight sizes. Like I don't want a separate line with like maybe one or two things that are similar. I want I want all the same stuff just in plus sizes. Like it's, it's not that hard to me, but I don't know. I do peruse on the straight size tops every now and then because I'm kind of right on the cusp between the largest straight size and the smallest plus size, depending on like the fit and everything. And so I found this top, which I mean, come on. This is called the Rosalie Linen Top and I checked the measurements and it said that the item was supposed to be a little bit like oversized or a little bit more of a loose fit. So I thought, okay, let's try it. The largest straight size that they have is a size 12 but again, because of like the bust measurements and everything like that, I was pretty sure that it would work for me. And I just love this. I think this is such a gorgeous top and this better work because uh, it was expensive. So let's find out. Okay, this is everything I hoped for. It's so pretty. I love this top. I love these like tie front, open front tops, whatever you want to call them. I think some people call them butterfly tops. This is so Gorgeous for summer, even with like some cute denim shorts like this or some really like baggy ripped up jeans, I think would be adorable. Tiered maxi skirts. I do have to wear it without a bra just because of the nature of the shirt. So I might need to figure out some sort of situation for like catching boob sweat, let's be honest. But it feels great. The material is like a linen material. So there's really no give to it at all whatsoever. So if you're considering getting it, definitely keep an eye on the size chart. And this is my public plea to Reformation. Please just make all of your items in extended and straight sizes. That would be incredible. And it would definitely make it look like you're interested in plus size people wearing your clothes instead of sort of just feeling like you're checking a box type of thing. You know? But I believe my bust size is like 40 inches and this fits me great. So keep that in mind. I don't have like a super large chest. So that might also be an issue if you have a bigger chest than I do, but wow. What a beautiful shirt. I am definitely keeping this. I can wear it so many different ways. I can see myself easily wearing this all summer long. This truly is like the top of my dreams. It is so beautiful. I hope it doesn't shrink at all. And even though I am in love with it, I will say it doesn't feel any different than like a top I would get at maybe say Abercrombie or something like that. I love this shirt. I think it's so cute. It's definitely gonna be in the rotation for this summer. I'm super, super happy with it precious. Next, we're going to try a brand called Doen. And I feel like a lot of people that I follow on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, etc., that talk about fashion and whose fashion sense that I really love feature a lot of pieces from Doen. And I've been so curious about them. I don't think they offer much extended sizing. I think they go up to like a 2XL. So a lot to be improved in that sense, but they make some cute stuff. Almost like beachy meets cottage core, just breezy, beautiful pieces. It's just the price point that I really have a hard time with. So I did order two dresses. They have a good return policy, which is amazing. So I'm going to try on these two dresses and we're going to see if like they work or not. And then we'll kind of go from there. But the first dress that I ordered, I mean, again, are you seeing a theme here? This stunning dress is so pretty. It's like a blue floral kind of cottage core moment. It is extremely thin though. That's kind of one thing that I'm maybe a little bit worried about for this, so we'll see. This is called the Clarabelle dress, and I just think it's so pretty. I got it in a size extra large, which is my typical size. So this brand didn't have any reviews that I could see. I don't think they offer reviews, so uh, I was just kind of shooting in the dark on this one. I was going by the size chart and just doing the best I could. So we're gonna, you know, see how this looks, but it is so 
pretty. I have to try this on. I cannot wait any longer. All of these prairie dresses are truly just me living my best life. So let's keep it going. All right, now we have this one. And I mean, the flowiness is again, like 10 out of 10, similar to the first dress. It fits beautifully. It's like a very tight seam though, underneath the bust. So just keep that in mind. The one thing I will say that I noticed right off the bat is just that it's incredibly see-through. This is like paper thin material. Like it's so, so delicate and so thin that I would just be terrified to have something this delicate and this expensive in my closet. I think just with my ADHD, I can just tend to like really struggle taking quality, quality care of my stuff, which I am trying to improve on, but I just be scared that I would accidentally like throw this in the wash and then it would rip a hole in it or something. And also like, I genuinely, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is like almost completely see-through in person. Like I wouldn't be able to wear it out. And I have bike shorts on, like I mentioned. I have my little like, you know, anti-chafing shorts. So I do think I would genuinely need to wear a slip. Luckily, I thrifted this one recently. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so that is like a million times better. Um, but then I have three, well, if you count my underwear, it's actually four layers on total right now. So I have my underwear, my, you know, anti-chafing shorts, my slip, and then the dress. And that just feels like a lot to sort of make this work with it being so expensive. I don't know if it's particularly for me. I think I would rather hold on and see if I could thrift something vintage that was similar to this. Although the cut is like absolutely perfect. I don't know, I feel like some of you are gonna be yelling at me in the comments to hang on to this. And then some of you are gonna be yelling at me to be like, it's not worth it, not worth the price. So yeah, unfortunately this is gonna be a no for me. So I think I'm gonna part ways with it, especially for the price, but oh my God, it's so beautiful. As far as like the look and the feel of the dress, 10 out of 10 though amazing. The second dress that I ordered from Doen is this one and this is um this is like me in a dress and it is this gingham maxi number. I mean are we all okay? Absolutely not. This is called the Delaney dress and I just love the ties so much on the front. I love the neckline. I think it's so pretty. I did order this in a double extra large because I was a little bit nervous about the fit of it. So we'll see how that goes. I also think that there was a possibility that they were sold out in an extra large. So maybe I just like grabbed this cause it was what was available. But I mean this dress for summertime and even into like fall and winter, I feel like it's so versatile. You could wear it so many ways. Ways. We're gonna find out what this looks and fits and feels like together. Um, I cannot wait any longer. So let's try this on and see what it looks like. Please keep your fingers crossed because I love it. All right, I mean, it just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better. It's so beautiful. I love this dress so much, but there is a butt. Although it fits me great, like kind of in this area and like all over, um, it is a little bit big in like the chest and especially on the shoulders. These straps aren't adjustable at all. And like every time I move, they just fall right off. So I don't think it's the right size. And I worry that if I sized down to an extra large, it wouldn't fit me like in the waist and the stomach area. <laughs> No, I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think I wanna go to a tailor and like pay extra to have them shorten the straps. Although I feel like a lot of you are gonna be yelling at me to do that. I just don't know if it's worth it um, with it costing so much already and then investing extra money. I don't know. I don't know. But all that aside, wow, what an absolutely stunning dress. And I just love how flowy it is. I love the look of it. It's very like cottage core, but kind of 90s at the same time. Almost got like a corset type of look in the front. I genuinely actually wish that this was available in a top, like if just the top part of it was available. Cause I would wear this as a top all day, every day. I feel like the dress is a bit more of like a statement, at least for me, but I love the gingham pattern. I love the ties. I love how it fits everywhere besides just like from here up. It's a little bit big in like the chest area as well. So it's just not my correct size. So I may have a think about it and I may hold on to it and, and consider altering it. I'm not sure, but I don't know with this being kind of more of a statement piece, if I would wear it enough times to justify having it in my closet, but it's so beautiful, so well made, but I just don't know that I can justify it, especially for the price in my mind. Just my honest thoughts. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. If there are any other sustainable brands that you wanna see me try out in the future, please make sure they carry 
my size before you comment it down below because a lot of times I get comments and I'm like, I wish I could try that, but I can't. But if there's anything you're interested in seeing me cover, definitely let me know. I would love to continue sprinkling these in occasionally. Um, you know, not very often because it's expensive, but it's something that I know a lot of people are interested in. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video.